today on How It's Made. Fiberglass boats. They're sleek, they're fast, and they're fun. Fiberglass boats can jump waves and turn on a dime. The fiberglass body is low maintenance and durable, so these watercraft don't deteriorate the way wooden boats can. A computerized saw cuts out the wood pieces they'll use to build the mold for the fiberglass boat. It takes a team of artisans about 15 months to design and build the mold. They first construct the frame. Then they build up the shape out of fiberglass. The mold must be perfect in order to cast a boat that's free of faults and defects. So they painstakingly work on the mold's finish in particular, coating it in a special high-resistance paint that will withstand about eight years of castings. Once they've finished the mold, they can begin casting the fiberglass boat. The equipment feeds just the right ratio of fiberglass to plastic resin. Fiberglass is glass in the form of very fine flexible fibers. They may look fragile, but those fibers are stronger than steel. And they won't burn, stretch or rot, so they make perfect boat building material. Workers make sure they roll the fiberglass into every nook and cranny. This is critical because if they don't apply the fiberglass thoroughly, the boat will have structural defects. As heat within the fiberglass builds up, it hardens. Next, they roll on a material called roving. It reinforces the fiberglass and makes it more rigid. They also install wood at the spots where they'll later mount equipment. They coat the wood with fiberglass to protect it from moisture. After about an hour, it's time to extract the casting from the mold. They use a lever system to lift out the hull. They cut out holes for the mechanics. Then they install the boat's deck. They install the motor and the electrical wiring for the mechanics and plumbing. The boat truly takes shape in the final assembly. They put together the upper part of the boat, called the shell, and the inside, called the liner. They install the furniture, then certain components by hand, such as the dashboard. Last stop, quality control, a series of tests to ensure that all the mechanics function well and that the boat is absolutely watertight. Finally, a protective wrapping to protect the boat during shipping. Next week, we have pulled out...